Today we're going to be looking at one of the many plushes made for the game Donkey Kong Country. This specific plush was made in the year 1995 by Banpresto. So with that said, welcome to a look at the Donkey Kong Country Banpresto plush set. Let's start off with the first plush in the set being Donkey Kong. Now this Donkey Kong plush looks pretty good and it has a lot of accurate details on it. The eyes are made out of a plastic material so they could get chipped and damaged pretty easily and there's some embroidery for the nose and the head shape overall seems to be pretty accurate and it's nicely stuffed. His mouth is kind of made out of like this feltish material and it's fully red. His tie is also a nice metallic red color. And with the letters DK on his tie are made out of an iron on material so they could get cracked and damaged but I do actually like the tie a lot as well as this really cool metallic red color. And the material on the tie overall seems to be pretty high quality, so it will probably hold up over the years and not get damaged. And what one of the coolest parts about this plush is that his arms are actually bendable. So Bambresto used some sort of material inside of the arms to make them so that he could bend them around and put them into different positions. And even though this is a pretty cool feature, I probably wouldn't recommend using it that much as well, but could damage the arms over the years, moving them up and down over time as well, but the material inside of them is pretty old. And well, since these plushes are pretty old, some of the materials on them could get damaged pretty easily. But yeah, the rest of the Donkey Kong plushes' proportions are overall extremely accurate and it seems to be really nicely stuffed and the plush itself is made out of this really high quality fuzzy material. As well, on his arms, you could obviously tell that it's made out of this very nice fuzzy material that's really high quality and also holds up well over the years. So yeah, there's a lot of very accurate details on this plush and it's overall a really good Donkey Kong plush. And if you want it, you can look on eBay and Macari, and well, it won't be that hard to find as well. There's a few on eBay right now. Moving on to the next plush in the we have the Diddy Kong. Now, this Diddy Kong plush is made out of the same exact high quality fuzzy material as the Donkey Kong plush is made out of. His eyes are once again made out of a plastic material, so they could get scratched and damaged, and well, there's also embroidery on his nose. And well, his mouth seems to have like cardboard in it to make it so that it keeps its shape over the years and it has the same exact red felt material as the Donkey Kong plush. The hat seems to be pretty nice and is overall pretty good quality. And well, but it seems that the hat's fully stitched onto the head so yeah you can't really remove it without fully damaging the plush. And well, Diddy Kong sure is made out of the exact same material as the hat and it's once again pretty good quality. You know, this plush is really accurate, and once again, just like the Donkey Kong plush has bendable arms. But just like the Donkey Kong, you probably don't want to use that feature a lot as well, the arms could get worn out over the years. And you know, I'm pretty sure his tail is also bendable. But yeah, just like the Donkey Kong, this plush is really accurate to how Diddy Kong actually looked at the time, and well, it's overall a pretty good plush. And if you want this plush, you can look on eBay and Macar, and it honestly won't be that hard to find as well, there's a few on eBay. Moving on to the next plush, we have the Funky Kong. Now, the Funky Kong plush's face is really nicely stuffed, and well, the glasses are made out of a pretty damageable material. As well, it's kind of a weird material to describe, but yeah, it is overall not that good of a material to use on a plush, as well, but it could get damaged pretty easily. And he also has a bandana on, which is made out of this kind of scratchy material, and it overall feels like a pretty high quality material that probably can't get damaged that easily. You know, this plush is made out of the same exact fuzzy material as the other ones that holds up really nicely over the years and is really high quality. His shorts are made out of the exact same material as his bandana and they're stitched on so they probably can't fall off unless if you purposely unstitch them for some reason which would obviously damage the plush. And the surfboard is made out of a plastic material so just like the other plushes that have plastic on them they could get scratched and damaged pretty easily. You know, I've also seen some plushes that have paint missing on the surfboard, so yeah, that's definitely something you don't want to happen as well. You obviously want the paint on the surfboard to be there. You know, the flip-flops are made out of a foam material and also has this string material, which could both get damaged. The string material could actually really easily get damaged because it's overall very delicate, and well, the sandals are made out of this foam material that could easily get damaged. As well, foam is overall just not really that good of a material, especially to use on a plush. But yeah, there's a lot of details on this plush that could get damaged like the glasses and the sandals, so yeah, even though it is overall a really good and nice looking plush, it still could get damaged pretty easily. But if you want this plush, you could look on eBay, and it's also for around $120 usually in mint condition, but yeah, you could find some cheaper ones that are in worse condition for around $100. Moving on to the next plush, we have the Cranky Kong. You know, Cranky Kong's face has this beard and hair on it that's made out of this fuzzy material. 
And one thing that I noticed about this plush is that this very fuzzy material could actually fall out of the plush. As well, for some reason, as this plush gets older, it seems that this like hairish material falls apart really easily. And I honestly don't know really why it does that, but it overall seems to be a bit of a problem for this plush as well. But I've seen a lot of them that are missing chunks of hair on it. And well, the rest of the face could also get damaged on a few details like the eyes and the glasses. And as well, the eyes are basically the exact same eyes used as a Donkey Kong plush, and well, they're made out of plastic so they could get chipped and damaged. And well, his glasses also seem to be made out of a plastic material or some other very delicate material that could also probably get damaged pretty easily. But besides those details, the rest of the plush seems to be pretty high quality, and well, just like Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, the arms are actually bendable. And if he's holding a cane in one hand, this seems to be overall pretty nicely detailed and it also seems to be nicely stuffed like the rest of the plush. And well, the rest of the plush is made out of this very fuzzy material that's overall pretty accurate and well, it overall looks pretty nice. His clothes are also made out of this very nice material and well, it seems to be pretty high quality. And well, basically the entirety of this plush is overall really good and really high quality besides the face. As well, the rest of the plush besides the face is really high quality, but the face has a lot of details that could get easily damaged. So if you get this plush, you would probably want to take good care of it, especially on with the details like the eyes, the glasses, and the hair. You know, this plush is actually the most expensive plush in the entire set, and you could get it on eBay right now for a little over $200. Moving on to the next plush, we have the DK Barrel. Now this is actually a Donkey Kong Barrel plush, and well, but actually is a coin bank. As well, there's actually a hole on the top of it to store your coins, so yeah, it's overall a really strange concept for a plush, but it's also just a really cool looking one. You know, the barrel itself seems to be pretty high quality, and it's overall really nicely stuffed, and it has all the correct details on it. The DK letters, though, could get damaged, as well, they seem to be made out of this really delicate material, kind of like an iron-on material and some other piece of material that's glued onto the plush. But yeah, the plush itself overall seems to be pretty accurate, it's nicely stuffed, and it's overall a really strange concept for a plush to be a coin bank. You know, even though it's a really strange plush in the set, it's by far the weirdest one in the whole set, it's also extremely rare. And so currently there's only one on eBay right now that I was able to find for around $60, so yeah, if you want it, it'll be extremely hard to find. And you know, it's by far the rarest plush in the entire set, probably because it didn't really sell that much, because well, it's a really strange concept. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe and comment down below which plushness is your favorite. And yeah, have a great day.